Hi, my name is Jaime Martinez, and today we're going to talk about a few daily routines you could do to increase your dexterity at the piano. Now, I always start off my practices with a few stretches that incorporate the forearm muscles, your wrists, and your hands. But before I start playing, I like to remove any watches or jewelry that I have. It just makes my wrist that much easier to move. Next, I roll up my sleeves for maximum comfort. Now the first stretch that we're going to talk about is called the praying stretch. In order to do the praying stretch, you first have to bring your palms together like this. Then, slowly lower your hands so that your palms are even with your elbows. You should feel a slight stretch in your forearms after this. But don't go too deep. Only a slight stretch to warm up and increase circulation. Now, if you feel any tingling, discomfort, or pain, simply remove yourself from the stretch and put your hands and arms in a more comfortable position like this. So after about a minute of doing the praying stretch, I like to give it a variation. It's really simple. All you have to do is roll your hands forward. Now you should feel a slight stretch in your forearms just like the stretch before it. And if you ever feel any tingling, pain, or discomfort, simply remove your hands out of the position and put them in a relaxed one. And after about a minute in this first variation of the praying stretch, I like to rotate my hands in towards my body and give it one last variation. Again, you should only feel a slight stretch in your forearms. And if you feel any tingling, pain, or discomfort, simply remove your hands from that stretch position and put them in a more comfortable, relaxed position. Now that we've finished warming up our forearms, wrists, and hands, let's take a seat at the piano. Bring your right hand to the keyboard and play an F major chord using fingering 1, 3, and 5. The object of this exercise is to hold down fingers 1, 3, and 5 while you play B flat on the fourth finger. Let's start off with some quarter notes. Now your goal should be to attain evenness in your dynamics, evenness in your tone, and evenness in the rhythm. You can vary this exercise by doing eighth notes with your fourth finger. Remember to keep consistency in your tone, your dynamics, and your rhythm. Another way to vary this exercise is to use 16th notes with your 4th finger while continuing to hold down fingers 1, 3, and 5. Remember to keep your dynamics, your tone, and your rhythm consistent. The Strex exercise will use fingers 1, 2, and 3 on F, A, and C, and fingers 4 on D, and finger 5 on F. The object of this exercise is to create finger independence by isolating one finger while the others are engaged holding down the cord. Alternate your fingers starting with finger 1. Play 4 16th notes with that finger. On the 4th 16th note, hold down F, and switch to your second finger. Again, play four sixteenth notes. Hold down the A key on the fourth sixteenth note with your second finger. Continue the exercise in the same way while isolating finger three, four, and five. It's a good idea to play your exercises with the metronome. Remember to keep your dynamics, tone, and rhythm consistent.